Hey everyone, welcome again on Dave Stack and let's continue the WhatsApp series. In the last video of the WhatsApp series, we completed the one to one chatting functionality, but there is work pending in the individual chat page. Like after adding a new messages, again, we have to scroll it down manually. Like we're not able to scroll properly. We had to scroll it manually. So let's fix this bug first. Then we will bug this uh, send button bug. Like after sending a message, it should convert on a mic button. So the bug which we have in individual chat page, those we will cover in this video. Okay. So let's first work on the scrollable thing. Okay. For that, what we have to do that we have to go on an individual chat page, and in an individual chat page. We have to create a new variable for the scroll controller. Okay, so we are going to create a scroll controller. And with help of the scroll controller, we are going to control the scroll automatically. When the new message will come, then automatically that message will be top. Okay. So let me initialize the scroll controller. Scroll controller and after initializing the scroll controller what we have to do we have to assign this scroll controller on the list view builder where we are getting the all the messages so here in the list view dot builder we have one additional property called controller so let me assign the scroll controller over here now the next thing we have to do is we have to write the scroll controller logic Whenever we will send a message or we will receive a message, we have to uh, put the message on just the top. Okay. For that, what we have to do that, let me go on the button where we are sending the message. So here is the button where we are sending the message. So before setting, sending a message, what I'm going to do that I'm going to use the scroll controller and in the scroll controller, I'm going to use the property called animate two. inside the animate two, what we have to provide. We have to provide three things. The offset where we wanted to scroll it down automatically, which mean we have to scroll it down just below. Like every time the new message will come, we have to scroll it down at the lowest, uh, I mean, at the bottom of the page. So we have to provide that offset and how we will get it. We are going to use the same scroll controller dot position and dot position dot Mac scroll extent. Okay. So with help of that, we will scroll it down to the bottom of the page and we have to provide the duration also. So let me provide a duration. I'm going to provide the duration at how much time it will take to scroll it down at the bottom. So I'm going to provide the millisecond 300 or 0 0.3 second and curve which we are going to use is curves dot each out. Okay, that's it. And let me hit the save. And see the changes whenever we will hit the send button i mean we will send some message and automatically it will scroll it down or not you can see that it is scrolling automatically whenever a new message is coming but still we have a bug like this is overlapping with the current messages to fix that bug what we had to do that we have to just convert the the main stack i mean where we are putting this this uh input field and the list view to stack to column so this is the thing i'm just converting it is inside the container it is inside the body of the individual chat page and earlier it was the stack i'm just converted it into the column and next thing we have to do that instead of the container i'm going to use the expanded widget and in expanded widget we don't have any height property 
the second thing we have to do is we have to wrap this align widget or this column widget to end container widget so we have to provide the height to 70 and let me hit the save and see the changes that how it will look like okay so if i will click anything here like if i will write something now then you can see that it is automatically going up but still there is one additional bug left that the one message the one current message is overlapping with this input field okay to fix that bug also we need to go on this list view dot builder and here we will write one additional condition so i will start the i mean i will increase the item count to the message dot length plus one and i'm going to write one additional condition on the item builder and at the last okay let me write if condition so if if index is equal equal to message dot length which means the index is at the last position then what we are going to do that we are going to return a container with height like 70 so here as of now the hgg is the current message so if i will type the hff or he there then you can see that the scrollable is working fine automatically the latest message which we are typing is at the top so the bug related to the scrollable thing is now completed now last bug we have to fix is we have to fix this send button bug right now after sending any messages the send button is not converting into the mic button so we have to fix this bug and how we will fix it remember to control this send button we are using this send button variable so here we have one variable one variable called send button with help of that we are controlling this so we had used that send button variable again to control it so what we have to do after clearing a message we just have to use the set state and we have to assign the send button to false okay so if i will type anything like if i will type hey there then it will send the message and automatically the message will be cleared and this send button will be converted on a mic button you can see that now the send button is converted on a mic button so this was the another fix which we did on an individual chat page the last fix i wanted to do that i wanted to convert this uh, static time to the dynamic time like whenever we will type a message we have to pick the correct time so for that what we have to do that remember we created a message model inside the message model i'm going to create one another variable called time and we are going to store the time of the current time okay so let me just initialize the current time and after hitting the save let me go on a individual chat page so remember in individual chat page what we are going uh, what we are doing like initializing a message model over here okay we, uh, at the time of setting a new message model on a messages list so here what we have to do that here we have to use the time variable which we created just now and here we are going to use the date time dot now and first we will going to convert this date time now to string and after converting the string what we are going to do that we are going to use this substring method or let me just put it as a string only so i will show you that what will be the issue if we will not use this substring so with help of that in a message model we are also storing the current time when the message is 
uh, we typed okay or we, we are setting the message I mean after receiving the message also we are using the set message method where we are first initializing the message model so in a message model at the time of receiving a message or at the time of sending a message we are initializing a time variable as well where we are storing the that exact time okay so in order to reflect here what I had to do I have to go here in a list view dot builder where we are uh, rendering this widget and in the uh, in the list view dot builder we can do two things like let me go on a list view dot builder I know the code is now very large so here we are rendering the message own message card and reply card so here what I'm going to do instead of sending a message I'm also going to send a time variable as well so how we will get the time with help of the message model the particular index dot time okay and same thing we have to do here we have to send the time here we are getting the issue because in own message card first thing what we have to do that here in a constructor we have to define one additional parameter called time in the constructor we have to assign that time okay same thing we have to do in a reply card as well we have to create another variable called time and we have to assign that time now in our own message we got the time and we have to use this time variable where here instead of the static time we are going to use the dynamic time same thing we have to do in a reply card in a reply card also we are using the static time instead of that we are going to use the dynamic time and let me hit the save here because all the issue is solved and let me refresh the page once again so after refreshing the page I'm going to select the dev stack as a user and I'm going to go on a balram router again so if I will type here hey balram then you can see that here due to we are restoring the time if I will go here we are storing the total time okay so instead of storing the total time what I'm going to do I'm going to use this substring so with help of this substring we are going to take only this 24 colon 37 time the only the hour and a minute time so for that what we have to do we have to pass the start and end position so start and end position will be 10 and this is 10 so let me hit the save and if I will type another new message so let me type a new message here there. then you can see that now the time is 16.25 here you can see that the time is 4.25 that's why it's showing the 16.25 okay now, me, now it's mean that uh, our issue is solved so the last testing I just forgot to add is we have to test the receiving message as well so if I will receive a message like I'm sending a message from the Balram Rathod to Davis Tech then there will be an issue like now the scrollable is not working here why it is not working because we have to use the same logic which we added here in a same message to here as well when we receive a message so here we are receiving a message here we have to write the same logic okay so that's why it is not working fine so after adding it let me just refresh the page I'm going to select the dev stack well, round out or 
and let me send a message from the Balram Rathor. Let's see what's going to happen. See, now it's working fine. So thank you all and happy coding. Let's meet on a next video where we will going to implement the status page. So first we are going to uh, complete the UI part, the status page in a calls page. Then we are going to again come into the this uh, logic part for the one to one chatting like file sharing or image sharing or the group chatting one. So let's let me complete first the UI part then we will complete the logic part as well. But I will need your support like don't forget to share this video to your friend also like the video if uh, you have an interesting topic to wanted me cover so you can drop in a comment also don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you all happy coding see you on a next video